Good morning. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, Overflow Church and other friends. Good to see you guys today. So excited to be here this morning to share with you what the Lord's putting on my heart. Um, so excited to see some faces pop up. Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. So I hope everybody is doing well. It's been definitely a different time these last several weeks and hopefully um, you're not growing weary. There's been so many different ups and downs and turns in every direction. But I am continuing to pray for everyone. And as we um, talk this morning, I just wanna share some hope and some promises that God uh, gives all of us. And so as we think about what's going on, and especially in light of how many weeks it's been, and we've been, a lot of us have been with our families, so you could be, I don't know how you're feeling right now, you could be like, it's been so amazing spending time with my family. You could be thinking, I would like a new family, or maybe not, just kidding. I absolutely love my family, and it's been an amazing time. But as time has gone on, it starts to feel a little bit heavy. And so I wanna to talk to you today about victory and how you can walk in that today. And so when I say victory though, what do you think of? Because sometimes people can have different ideas of what you may be talking about. So some of you might be thinking like victory. I think of the old like high school days or college days at the football games and the cheerleaders are cheering and all that. And there's like victory for the winning team. And so that's maybe what you think of when you hear the word victory. Or maybe some of you immediately think of the old hymn, the uh, victory in Jesus, my savior, you know, that one. Yeah, some of you might think of that as well, but um, what does victory really mean though? Well, in the dictionary, it is defined as an act of defeating an enemy or opponent in a battle, game, or other competition. That's pretty crazy because um, if you don't know it, and you may not feel like it, we're actually living in a battle. Sometimes it may feel like a game, or maybe it sometimes feels like we are that team, the on the, the the team on the losing side, you're sitting in the stands, you know, and you're on the losing side and the other team is winning and, and you feel defeated and you feel like victory is far away and you feel uh, sad about that, you feel heavy about that. And the truth is, yeah, we are living in a battle. We are living in this time where we do have an enemy and he's real. And he's trying to steal our victory. It says in 1 Peter 5, 8, to stay alert, to watch out for our great enemy, the devil. It says that he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So I don't know if you've ever seen a lion, but you know when they're hungry, they're going to prowl around and be vicious and be ready to attack. And so that's what our enemy does. And so we are in this battle and we have the victory because Jesus already paid for the victory. It's already ours, but the enemy is so good at what he does. He convinces us that we've lost, which is crazy because it's something sometimes that our mind forgets. Because when Jesus died for us, he took all of that. He paid and won that victory for us so many years ago. So as we are in him, he is in us. And so the victory is already ours. But the circumstances of life around us 
including what's going on right now. These circumstances steal our peace. They, it steals our joy. It steals uh, what we know of in Jesus sometimes. It steals our victory because that's because the enemy is good at, at what he does. And we need to constantly be reminded and to renew our minds so that we don't forget that. In Colossians 3, it says that we've taken off our old self. We've taken that off and it was put on and we put on our new selves. And that's that the old self is before we have Jesus. But when we take when he uh, paid the price for us so many years ago, he took that old part of us away and he has won the victory for us. And so sometimes we forget those promises. When times become difficult, we lose our focus and we become vulnerable. We become, vul become vulnerable to those things when we're losing our focus and our focus is not on Jesus. And there's a time that we need to stand strong because we are more than conquerors. We've already won the victory and we can celebrate knowing that God's got this. He's got all of it and he's bigger than all of it. And so he hasn't changed. Sometimes we in our circumstances will change in a sense. We get off track. We forget his promises, but he never changed and he's standing there with open arms, not in condemnation, not with his finger pointed at us because that's not him. He's so loving and so wanting you to have peace and have victory. So what, what do we do now? You know, there's, you might be thinking right now, well, yeah, that sounds really great, but what do I do? Because I do feel uh, down during this time. I do feel heavy. I do feel like I don't see that light at the end of the tunnel. I see it very dim. I see it very far away. And so God, again, not looking at us to do any certain thing, just to be still and just to be with him. And just sometimes for me, it's just kind of sitting down and just closing my eyes and a place, if you have that, a peaceful place if you have that, where you can just say, Lord, speak to me. I am feeling far. I am feeling like I am on that losing team right now. And I am feeling like I need you. I need the victory you've already paid for, but it just is not feeling that way. And so it's amazing when we ask, when we seek him, he, he does not disappoint. And so he speaks to us and gives us that renewed strength, that encouragement, that, that still small voice to let us know that we're not in this alone, that he is with us and he is um, there and he has won this for us. So as you go about your days and uh, the circumstances are still unknown, I've been feeling like the Lord has been also encouraging me to pray for people's fear, fear of what's to come from here. Um, he's give, given me this word, uh, seamless. This is the word he's been speaking to me the last few weeks, that the changes that are occurring and uh, that we're not to look at what's going to happen from here, that it will be a seamless transition and that he is going to take care of it and that as we just seek him and trust in him and realize that the victory is already be won, that we don't have to physically do it because he's doing it for us, that this transition in the future to come of, as everything unfolds is going to be seamless and life will uh, continue. It may look a little different, but he has got it. He's got all of it. And so if you are on the winning side right now and you are feeling like on top of the world, remember that you have lots of brothers and sisters who may not be sitting there. And so 
be an encouragement to them. Remind them of the Father's love for them and the Father's victory that's already been won. Be um, a light for them. And if you are on that uh, side, I am praying for you because nobody wants to be on that side where you're, you know, seeing what's over there, everyone's winning and happy. Or have you ever been to a game and you accidentally sit on the wrong side? I mean, it just feels out of place. It does feel out of place because it is out of place. You are meant to be on the winning side because if Christ is in you, he's the hope of glory. He has already won your battles. So this week, if you... Um, are doing the devotion with us. We've been encouraging Overflow Church to be, share, give, and go. So to be is just like I said before, just be before him. You don't have to do anything specific. It's just be still before him. And if you need, uh, we've posted the daily devotion on the uh, end of this link is posted so that if you wanna look at the devotion for today, because you're just like, Lord, I don't even know what to say to you. I don't even know what to do. Show me something. This is a great guide to follow. But if you're just at a point where you just need to hear his voice, just be still. There's nothing specific you have to do because he will meet you wherever you are. So to share, if you share this video so that more people um, can have the hope of Jesus, please do that. Uh, give to your local church um, or if Overflow, thank you so much Overflow Church for giving, continuing to give. I don't know if you saw the um, update from Nigeria, but your giving is making a difference. It is feeding thousands of people in the Ija Kingdom. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got to go there last November and it was absolutely a beautiful video I saw people that I met and know they are real they are receiving our gifts and um, guys it's just unbelievable because what we worry about here in the United States isn't even on their radar they're more worried than the virus for them is not mostly about the virus it's about hunger and dying of hunger and starvation so um, it's just amazing what you're doing, so thank you. Hopefully you've had a chance to see that. Um, and we also encourage you to go. Go out. Be that fan on the winning side that is encouraging those to come on back. Come on back. Remember who you are in Jesus. You are enough. He has won your battles. You are loved. You can do this because I know because God already did it and he's in you. You can too. I love you guys and hope you have a great day. It's been awesome spending a few minutes with you today. Have a good day now.